How many fucking guitars can a guy show you to paint? How many fucking guitars, you know, does it take before it, it hits your head? You know? I mean, uh, I, I must have fucking, you know, 30 videos up there, uh, 40 videos of how to paint your fucking guitar, how to relic it out. I got my mojo working, buddy. Just the word. This is really the most important thing about stripping down a guitar. Now, if you have a cheap, inexpensive guitar, uh, this is really a waste of time for you. You're actually making your guitar worse, okay? You're actually uh, taking your guitar and making it worse because the cheap, inexpensive guitars have a very, very thick finish on them for a reason. It's because the woods that they use and the materials they use are very cheap. So they compensate with a very, very thick finish, okay? Polyurethane finish. So if you have a cheap guitar and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to relic that out or I'm going to paint it, don't do it because you're wasting your time. Unless you want to just do it for practice, okay? Okay, and you can paint over your old, your new finish. Just make sure that it's sanded down proper, okay, That uh, to hold the new finish that you're putting on it. But if you plan on stripping your guitar down to bare wood like you see me doing, Make sure it's a top quality, high quality guitar that you're doing it to because you're just wasting your time. Now, back to what I was saying. Uh, what's good about stripping that old uh, urethane, polyurethane finish off of that and that sealer that's on there is you're going to give it a solid wood uh, sound, okay? And what I mean by that is the tone, the vibration, and the intonation, the the uh, the fucking overall playing of the guitar is going to increase its ability 175% better. Because what you're doing is you're letting the guitar resonate the vibration and bring the real tone out of your guitar, okay? If that makes any sense. Now, the way that I'm going to refinish this is basically like they used to do back in uh, the good old days. Whenever the fuck that was in your life, you know what I'm talking about. You know, they say that the lacquer finish is better. They say that, uh, you know, ooh, let's do it this vintage way. They say, okay, Fender's the best guitar. Fuck you, okay? That's what I say. All right? What I say is whatever the fuck guitar you like, that's the best guitar. I like PVs, okay? I could take this PV guitar and put it together and I guarantee fucking to you, it's better than any fucking Telecaster out there on the fucking market today. So we get it all sanded down. And, uh... I think I'm talking a little too much tonight. And one more thing. I'm going to have to make a new pit guard for this because this pit guard just ain't cutting it. So we're going to have to go down and get us uh, some pit guard material. Okay, this is uh, just an example now. See, this is a PV pit guard, okay? And you see that it fits right in there and it gives a good line all the way around it. And then this is a fender pit guard, okay? So, there you go. See, that's a fender pit guard. And you see the difference. You see, it's a lot bigger right in this area here, okay? Now, uh, the corporation probably did that for a reason, uh, for spec reasons, okay, and copyright reasons. Because they figure, oh, if we make this curve right here a little smaller than theirs, and we come to a point here instead of a big round curve, okay, because you can see, all right, they can't sue us because it's not exactly like their guitar. Okay, think about it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go with the brand new pit guard. And since I'm painting this uh, gold, true gold, I'm going to probably go with a, a white pit guard on it, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and use the mint green pit guard because that has a more antique vintage look to it. So uh, we'll have to take our tortoise shell uh, material back. I bought a whole sheet of that crap. I'm going to have to get me some uh, mint green material. And I could actually make this work. All I'd have to do is uh, trim it up a little bit. But uh, the way that all this lines up, I don't think that it would actually work that good. And I believe that this doesn't even fit in there proper. Let me... Okay, that looks almost like it. Okay, see, that's a little bit bigger, see? Mind you now, I'm going to paint this brand new, but I'm also going to relic it out at the same time, okay? 
And uh, that's just me. I mean, that's who I am. That's where I'm at. My guitars represent me, okay? I mean, I'm a guy that's a little rough around the edges. Well, so are my guitars, okay? So, I'm going to wash this off. Now, what this is going to do to the guitar, it's going to get all the grease, all the oil, all the uh, stains or whatever's inside it, the pure, uh, imperfections. And what it's going to do, it's going to clean the wood very, very thoroughly, see? You see what I'm saying? That's right. So it's very important to wash off your guitar if you are going to take it to bare wood. Wash it off thoroughly with rubbing alcohol. Actually, uh, this type of wood right here, this ash, okay, this is swamp ash to be exact. Okay. Okay, swamp ash, uh, even poplar, any wood really. The best way to really, really clean the wood where it's thoroughly sterilized is with Clorox or bleach. Now, I don't have any here at my shop. Okay, I have a custom car shop, by the way. And uh, that's what I do. I build custom cars. And uh, it gets a little bit fucking loud around here. And uh, that's what we fucking do. See, that's, that's what we do. So, anyway... Uh, I go ahead and I clean that off thoroughly, and by God, I'll tell you what, this fucking guitar won't get stolen. Oh, I'll be a hot motherfucker if this guitar comes up stolen. I've actually seen people where they uh, take their guitar, and if you look at that, that's got a beautiful finish to it, see? They actually stain it and then clear coat it. We're not going to do that, okay? I like nice, natural finished guitars, but I like them painted more. And I got the custom color uh, gold. I guess the reason I, li I have gold guitar a lot of gold guitars is because, uh, well, it goes back to the same old thing. When I was uh, 16 or so, I had a Fender Stratocaster that was gold. It was brand new. And it was basically the gold that I'm going to paint this guitar, and it got stolen. I mean, what is up with these cocksuckers and these motherfuckers and these piece of shit bastards that steal guitars? You know? I don't understand. I don't know how many guitars I've had stolen, okay? But I'll tell you what, it really fucking chaps your fucking ass when you come home, okay? And you work your fucking ass off for what you got. And some scumbag fucking piece of shit, low-life cocksucker, okay, steals from your house. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. You can already see the difference just from cleaning it off, okay? You see what I'm saying? All right? You can see the difference in it. Now, once again, I'm going to put a light sealer on this, okay, just to seal the wood. I still want the grain to show, but it's going to be painted. It's going to be a vintage antique paint job, okay? And the, ta the tone and the quality of this guitar should be tremendous. Tremendous. I mean, bodacious. It should be fantastic, okay? It should be a skinny fucking minute in New York City is what it should be. You can never get your hands on one of these at a reasonable re price. Grab it. It's a PV Reactor AX. Okay, even the reactors are fucking amazing guitars. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and uh, in the paint booth we go, my friend. I'll see you in there. This is Pete. You can fucking do it, buddy. You can fucking do it. Don't tell yourself you can't. Don't tell your wife you can't. Don't tell mommy you can't. Don't tell daddy you can't. Okay, tell yourself you can. It's all about you and the fucking way that you treat yourself that fucking matters. I got my